Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Papa's Freezeria HD part 24. In the last part we unlocked Cloudberries and Vicky, we're jumping in straight with Utah and Utah bring me the goods. Cookie dough. <gasps> we didn't have cookie dough that whole time? I swear. We had cookie dough and Kingsley this whole entire time. I'm shocked. <laughs> I swear- oh, I thought that was something that we started with. I'm so shocked and confused. Hello. Are you telling me we didn't have Kingsley this whole time? We do have Kingsley. So what is he getting? Okay, we have a medium cookie dough in chocolate. What was he getting this whole time if he wasn't getting cookie dough? <laughs> I wanna know. Fudge! He was getting fudge. Okay, hey there. I don't remember if she gets a small or medium. I can't even start it. Hello, Claire. Ooh, and you're ranking up today. Thank you. What's, oh, we need a lot of points to rank up. I'm not gonna even count it. Mathematician Bun will not return today. Unless there's another level up, then Mathematician Bun will be returning. A small, that's what she likes. Blueberry and banana, sounds pretty good. So I'm doing a challenge, uh, oh this is a terrible milkshake, not one of them was correct, but it's fine. I'm just gonna let it slide. I'm doing a challenge. I have this, um, app that I, <coughs> I have this app that I use to track my food, um, and I pretty much stopped tracking my food. <laughs> I was using it all year, um, but I stopped, like, for half of last week. I didn't track anything, but I barely ate it. I don't remember anything that I ate, which is why I kinda need to write it down. You're killing me, James. You're killing me. You're killing me. Like, this milkshake is overdone now. You're killing me. Um. So, because I didn't write anything down, my score, because it, like, judges what you eat and how healthy you are and what you need to cut back on and stuff. It's like I eat a lot of cookies and stuff, milkshakes and stuff that I shouldn't, stuff that should be like, oh, you can only have this, like, once a month or whatever. It's supposed to be if you quantify it. I have them, like, every day. Um, so I'm doing a challenge to not eat meat for as long as I can, which isn't really challenging. Not eat red meat, specifically red meat, which is not very challenging because I'm pretty much a pescatarian. <laughs> I don't eat meat ever, really. So I don't know. I'm trying to just see how long I can go. I don't really eat burgers or anything. I'm trying to think when I eat red meat, never, never. If I eat meat, it's chicken or it's fish seafood not fish because i hate fish specifically but i like shrimp and lobster and crab and scallops and all that it's good stuff mm, what i need to do because i hate vegetables i also started eating well drinking a cup of v8 in the morning just so that i shove vegetables down my throat because i literally do not eat vegetables ever <laughs> it is not part i don't know how to cook them i don't know how to get them into my body except for soylent which just gives me the nutrients that i need but it's not like i'm eating vegetables and v8 juice is like 99 percent tomatoes so i don't know why it's even called vegetables because tomatoes fruit but v8 juice tastes like campbell's soup so it's not really bad um, but it's just kind of gross to just drink a cup of Campbell's cold Campbell's soup in the morning, you know? Um, this is chunky. And other than that, I'm doing pretty good on my dieting. I'm not exercising, but I realized something is that, you know, if I started exercising six months ago, I would be at my goals. You know, I'd be six months into my goal. So I just gotta do it. Like, it's just working out is so unpleasant <laughs> but it's just like it's only half an hour of unpleasantness like i waste so much time scrolling twitter i could be working out and then i would be so much closer to my goals if i just did it instead of thinking about how much work it's gonna be claire you're killing me all right those are a little chunky a little on the wrong side a little overdone for what they wanted because like for somebody that um, once it's smooth Chunky slightly over chunky is way too chunky So it's all perspective, but I'm just like the things that I have to do I just have to do them like I don't feel like editing 
some of the longer videos, like not so very, that's like an hour of footage that I cut down. I don't feel like editing it, but it's just like, I have to edit it eventually, so I might as well get it over with. I have to, I want to exercise, so I have to get it over with. Like, it's just, I want the end goal, so I have to do the work. And the more I put it off, like years of putting it off. Also, like I wanted to learn Japanese for pretty much my entire life. When I was 13, I was just like, I need to learn Japanese. I tried every single way I could. When I went to college, I took a Japanese class and it was my favorite class <laughs> ever. Um, and I still don't know Japanese. And I'm just like, yikes, can you get it together? You gotta, it's just that I don't practice it every day. So I don't use it and I don't retain it. It's just a horrible cycle of not retaining anything. So that's the that's the thing of the day. If you really want something to do, really want something to change in your life that you know is going to take a really long time, you have to do it every single day. There's time to fit everything that you want to do. There actually is time to fit everything that you want to do. Some days are more time consumed than others. You just got to make it work. If I spend an hour studying, an hour on Japanese, I spend pretty much an hour filming the videos for the next day and an hour editing the videos for the next day. I'm just waiting for this one. Eee. Number eight's regular cooked. Gotta make sure I put that on. And we're at number three. <laughs> it's just today is the most important day because you can't go back and change what you did yesterday, which yesterday I pretty much wasted every second of my day. I don't remember doing anything. <laughs> oh wait, I went to work for six hours. That's what I did. So yeah, I wasted my day, but I got money for it, I guess. Does that make it worth it? But today, I don't have work. I'm going to work on videos, but not like go overboard with the videos. Oh, these people are killing me. Work on videos, but only like the necessary videos that I need to do today, instead of like, I need to film every video for this entire week. Um, and then I'm gonna fit in other things like cleaning. And I have to straighten my hair, which takes a couple hours and I have to, but it like saves me a week of ugly hair <laughs> it's just it's all relative and the stuff that you do right now is what makes a difference tomorrow you know if you work out today you'll be thinner and healthier tomorrow and happier it's like 30 minutes of unpleasantness 30 minutes of pain <laughs> pretty much and high heart rate and stuff is, it makes you feel good for the whole day, but instead you feel bad later because you didn't work out. Because you're like, I could have been X, Y, and Z, but it's just like, no, just do it. And then you're there. So that's the book I've been reading. It's called Today Matters by somebody named John. And I'm just trying to get my life together and just do what's required of me today to push myself forward, but not um, trying to get ahead. Getting ahead is just like... A waste of time <laughs> honestly it's just do what you have to do make sure that you touch upon everything but you can't really even focus on a million things at once it's like a hard thing to talk about because you can't change everything at once but if you want to build a habit of doing something you have to do it every single day and then it just becomes a habit out of nowhere I'm not even paying attention to this game I'm just preaching hello but I'm still getting these out. Scooter, you better come tomorrow so that we can rank you up. But some days I just want to talk about life stuff instead of game stuff. And today's one of those days because it's my only day off of work. And I feel like I have to get so much done today. But I'm really excited to get so much done today instead of dreading it. Do do do. cream and strawberry and nerds and one of these two cookies and a cherry there you go thank you captain come again soon we actually have tons of points we're gonna rank up easy peasy all right, so we got Utah, which is co a large cookie dough in chocolate or medium cookie dough in chocolate. Uh, which one was it? Utah, medium or large, medium. And then Edna's coming, which is um, marshmallow and mint, small. 
It was a medium cookie dough and chocolate. Gotcha. Gotcha. You know, every single day I wake up to my rabbit grooming everything around me. <laughs> I just wake up to wet spots on my pillow and he like licks my legs. He's just a baby and he's just showing his love. And then I learned that like buns in a like a group in the wild will kind of have a thing that they do more than other things because like some of them are diggers so they'll dig for everybody else they'll just like dig holes all the time and my rabbit would be more of the groomer bun who helps everybody else get tasty clean helps the diggers clean the the nasty paws after all the digging he's just a baby and a cutie Oh goodness, I have to boost this. I didn't even think about that. That's gonna finish so quick. Boosty boost. Hello, Scooter. You're back. Thank you for coming back. You're saving my life. She's single handedly getting us to the next rank. <laughs> what will we unlock in that rank? Hmm, I wonder. A large marshmallow in red velvet. I feel like marshmallows are what you choose when you don't want an additive. Because marshmallows don't taste like anything. This tastes like marshmallow. I don't know. Alrighty, so we have chocolate, whipped cream, and chocolate syrup. I've been meaning to make a, a second channel for a while. I have like a lot of videos that I filmed beforehand that I wanted to upload to. It's basically gonna be a vlog channel, basically, basically. And I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that soon. Probably today, honestly so that I can get that done. Set up the channel, because I didn't even make it yet. Which I've had vlog channels before, but I always felt like it was better to just put the vlogs on my one channel and just have a cohesive one channel, but then I feel like the vlogs dilute my channel, even though they're popular, like, compared to some other videos. Like, I feel like nothing that I upload is unpopular right now. And that everybody likes the stuff that I have and it's more of a cohesive channel. I just realized that resource management isn't really something that I should upload on this channel, but I still will. <laughs> we have, oh, that didn't even pop. <clears throat> Gotta get that out. We have strawberry and banana. Oh my God. No, I need a new one. That was really bad. You're very laggy today, tablet. There we go. Much better. Got that as well. This is a regular. And then we'll do number five. Small birthday cake and strawberry. Sugar overload. E. Also, PAX is coming up super soon, which is crazy. And I'm going to have to, I don't know what I'm going to do to prep for that. Because I'm going to have to prep for that. I haven't been on vacation in a really long time. Uh, I think 2016. July. It was the last time I went on vacation and now I'm like going away for a full week and have to have videos ready. Have to. Like there's no question. Um, spooky. But I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. I'm really excited. I'm meeting my best friend. I'm going to the zoo. I'm going to Jacksepticeye's show. Like I'm gonna die. It's gonna be so fun. Oh my goodness. Olga, you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait a while. Because I'm tired. I'm tired of it all gotta get out these orders i can't just keep taking orders making milkshakes no one gets their order back if you were number two olga you'd be upset too so you just gotta wait a little bit longer this lag is horrendous it's like weirdly slow but not laggy oh thank goodness i thought this i'm gonna put this off for a second i'll put it back on later um and then this one just has a cherry on top for my dear edna came in so long ago my order station is so pathetic need 146 points which isn't too bad so you have regular whipped cream is olga my closer olga is not so i'll wait oh there's the closer strawberry syrup nerds and three cherisas Number three, Scooter, thank you. Rank up, that's rank 35, you guys. Which I'm pretty sure ends rank 30 something. 
pretty sure. It's crazy. It's gonna be weird when this ends. I didn't even. Oh my goodness. What if Scooperia comes out when I'm at PAX? Oh, then I can't put it up for like a whole week. It would too. It would come out while I'm at PAX. Just to make me suffer. <laughs> Just conveniently comes out on my birthday one year. Conveniently on May the 4th. And then, or Pi Day, not May the 4th. Pie Day's coming out. That's gonna be cute. I wonder if it'll come out on Pi Day because it's like a cookie pie. Maybe. That would be awesome. But I think that they would have announced it right now. Because today that I'm filming this is the 5th. So I feel like if they're gonna put it out on Pi Day, that's less than 10 days away, they should tell somebody. But usually they tell you a week prior. I just really hope it's not during PAX. Hope and pray for me, guys. <laughs> I do check the site every day, but I swear every time they upload, I didn't check the site yet that day. And then somebody in the comments was just like, ah, look, and I'm just like, oh. Me too. Oh, Peggy ranked up too. Okay, you guys. Sorry about that super long wait, Olga. Hope you don't aren't upset. Hope so, hope so. And for you, Grammy. Hello, Grammy. Kiwi and strawberry. That is it sounds gross, but it's actually perfect. <laughs> um marshmallow and banana is kinda gross. It's just I can't imagine chewing a marshmallow and a banana in my mouth at the same time like it's disgusting it'd be absolutely absolutely repulsive <laughs> okay at upper eight large kiwi strawberry regular mixed mm, 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 mm. terrible um and strawberry nice regular you can get out number six while those are cooking Whipped mm -hmm. cream. It's always so perfect. And then Lucky Charms. Um, rainbow Sprinkles. Two gummies. We still have one more thing to unlock here. So that's definitely one more rank at least. Thank you, Maggie. Yeah, you're about to rank up too. It's just so many points coming at me and we'll see what else we have so one thing over there so that's one rank and then we have two things here so that is and two things here so five ranks maybe to be 40 rank 40 what did i just make neapolitan with kiwis repulsive there we go nicely mixed <laughs> barely mixed okay so for number seven we have regular whipped cream whipped crema and strawberry and mm, rainbow sprinkles of maple syrup. I can't stop thinking about maple syrup. I haven't had pancakes in so long. I have like phases of restaurants that I die for. And for a while it was IHOP and now it's Olive Garden. Italian food. I don't know what it's gonna be next time. Sometimes my favorite thing is like McDonald's and I hate those times. Because, yeah, it's not like I have to go into a restaurant now. Oh my goodness, I have to be pretty and stuff. I could just go hideous in pajamas to McDonald's and it's fine, but I'm just eating garbage, you know? But I'm, when I go to Olive Garden or Wild Ginger, which is like this Asian place that is near me. Well, not near me. It is like 30 minutes away from me. But it's close by enough. It's near um, my boyfriend's grandparents. It's tasty stuff and healthy. That's going to be it for this part, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. I love you so, so much. Goodbye.